Well, for the city of Ravenswood, business is booming. In the next few months, they'll be seeing several new small businesses open their doors. And as News Channel 3's Kim Rafferty reports, the businesses have really been through a lot to open their doors during the middle of a pandemic. Through the course of the pandemic, the city of Ravenswood, like so many places, says they lost several small businesses due to COVID. But in the next month, about 10 new ones are opening their doors. All right, you can set that one back up. The journey for After Effects salon owners have been nothing but easy. Mostly because of COVID has really affected these small towns and their businesses. Co-owner Tabitha Holt says a corporate salon used to occupy their space in Ravenswood Plaza. When they were given a two-week notice, the salon would close. They were out of a job. She and her two friends who worked at the salon had to act fast. They took a leap of faith and opened their own salon, something Tabitha has always dreamed of. And for it to actually come true before us is just amazing. It's been a blessing. They plan to open a tanning salon in the same plaza, where a gym is also opening. With everything going on right now, I'd say there's a lot of looking up for Ravenswood. There's several small business owners, excluding us and the plaza, that are opening as well. Downtown, John John Triplett and his partners are opening a shop for LNT Technical Services. This all started, um, you know, back in the summer. He and his friends had careers, but COVID got in the way. You know, with the pandemic hitting, um, you know, with the, the pipelines, you know, they all kind of fizzled out here, here as of late. So we kind of just decided, hey, you know, there's never a perfect time to start a business. That's when they decided to combine skills and open a business in Charleston and Olive Hill, Kentucky. Which is construction, excavation, and project management as one. We have uh, technology as another and pumps, rotating equipment as, as a third. They say the city of Ravenswood is instrumental in their decision to open a third location. Six months later, LNT Technical Services employs 12 people. They plan to employ more, and they just bought a construction company. Let's see, as of last week, uh, our company value has, has increased over a million dollars. Both businesses keeping people working, finding success in times when it may seem impossible. I feel... Now that I'm in, in this position, I can help. You know, I want to, the people that have been impacted by the coronavirus, anyone that's, uh, that's been impacted at all from anything. Kim Rafferty, WSAZ News Channel 3, Ravenswood. Now the tanning salon in Ravenswood Plaza set to open this weekend. And in the coming weeks, LNL Technical Services plans to employ people at the Ravenswood location. First morning.